Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathor. I have done MD in pharmacy medicine. Today we will discuss about one more late change in after death which is decomposition or also known as putrefaction. Decomposition or putrefaction it is a process by which complex organic body tissue breaks down into simple, simpler inorganic compounds or elements due to action of saprophytic microorganisms or due to autolysis. Putrefaction is a final process observed in the cadaver leading to gradual dissolution and liquefaction of the tissues. Putrefaction usually follows the disappearance of rigor mortis. So rigor mortis which takes up to 24 hours time for disappearance, putrefaction starts after that. During hot seasons, it may commence before rigor mortis has completely disappeared from the lower extremities. So even from the lower, if the rigor mortis is present in the lower, lower extremities, decomposition may start in hot seasons. Now coming to mechanism of decomposition, there are different mechanisms. One is autolysis. Autolysis itself, lysis is break in which body enzymes which are present in uh, intestines, pancreas, which release the enzymes like lipases, amylases are released into the body and those enzymes act on the body itself and proteolysis, leads to proteolysis, glycolysis and lipolysis. Body starts decomposing from first from that, from the inside the intestines and because of action of pancreatic enzymes. Next is by bacterial enzymes. Mainly, this may be aerobic or anaerobic bacteria. Example like Costurium welchii, Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, Bacillus proteases, E. coli. These bacteria release enzymes, mainly lipases and lysinases, which act on a dead body, leads to degradation of the tissues, mainly the extracellular body, skin tissue, proteins, or brachondon. Next is the mechanism is by action of fungi and insects, which also helps in decomposition. When coming to signs of decomposition, there are signs includes color changes, formation of all gases, pressure effects of gases, appearance of maggots, and late changes. Coming to color changes, color changes is first seen as degrees discoloration in the right leg fossa. This is the first sign of decomposition. So, first sign of decomposition is Release discretion in the right left fossa. This appears in 12 to 28 hours as the rigor mortis is yet to disappear and slowly spreads through the body. This color formation is of self methoglobin On that, has H2S glass sulfide gas is released. Hemoglobin combines with H2S methemoglobin, which again is forms the self methemoglobin. This leads to greenish discoloration, which is seen in the right left fossa. Later color may change from purple, brown and bluish green to black in color as the hemoglobin starts degrading. Then there is marbling effect. Marbling effect is a kind of contrast color change which is seen in the uh, which color change which is seen in decomposition because of uh, coloring of veins. So hemoglobin in veins becomes green or brownish in color especially in shoulders, axilla and inguinal regions leading to a marbling effect which is contrast color changes. So in this image you can see in the axilla there is the marbling, the veins get stained and contrast skin has becomes a contrasting color. This also image shows near the thigh region where the veins are stained. This is called as marbling and it is one for one more sign of decomposition. Next is formation of false smelling gases. These are because of uh, enzymes like bacteria, this release the as a byproduct of the decomposition of the body. These gases include carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, phosphine, ammonia, methane gases. These gases are formed first in the hollow viscera like in small stomach and small intestine in 12 to 24 hours. Later in the whole body in 20 to 12, 24 to 48 hours, whole body is filled with gases. As the gases are accumulated in the body leads to blotting up, uh, leads to different effects. So pressure effects of gases first is blotting of body and features. So whole body gets blotted up. In first 36 to 48 hours, body and face is blotted, it is swollen, eyes, eyes will bulge out, eyelids, nose, cheeks, lips becomes greenish to swollen masses, tongue is swollen and protruded out of teeth, breast and scrotum becomes large blotted mass, penis becomes thick and elongated and semi erect, clothes may tear apart. In 48 to 72 hours, this accumulated gases leads to prolapse of rectum, prolapse of uterus in females and also if she is pregnant, postpartum delivery may also happen in pregnant woman. 
because of effects of gases as they push out push out the every organs from the body this is a protein effect which can be seen where the body parts are all missed and all the body is bloated up because of emission gases changes third effect of effect of glasses gases emission of gases change in postmortem lividity so postmortem hypostasis which is accumulation of blood in the dependent parts of the body which occurs before 12 hours as due to appreciation effect of gases the liquid the blood accumulated becomes liquefied in 48 to 72 hours later on site of hypostasis may change then color of postmortem changes which is usually pink in color may change to from brown to later on black in color next effect of gases is changes in the skin and wounds so if the body before death has any wounds they becomes change in shape there may be petrified blisters may occur skin slippage may occur skin critical may be easily peeled off in 40 to 24 hours degloving and destocking may occur so degloving and destocking is has the gloves the the skin around the the uh, hand comes as a the epidermis of a skin comes as a glove which can also be as there it's called a degloving and then in the legs it is called as destocking where the skin around, around the legs comes out hair becomes loose and can be easily pulled out due to liquefaction of blood and pressure of gases again bleeding may occur from the wounds antimortem wounds if any present bleeding may occur again because of effect of gases this is a scene as we can see in rotating of rotting of effects of gases tongue is protected out uh, there is bleeding may occur seen from the wounds which are present in the antimortem wounds next effect of gases is stomach contents and from it contents may protruded out from the nose and mouth which leads to froth at the nose and mouth that is to it as froth and reddish fluid are seen oozing from the nose and mouth which is accumulated in the from the body next there is emptying of heart which occurs at 30 to 40 hours to pressure of gases heart becomes totally empty then there is false rigidity or where it is a form of uh, differential diagnosis of rigor mortis where because of accumulation of gases body becomes rigid which occurs at 30 to 40 hours this has to be distinguished with this can be distinguished with uh, rigor mortis since rigor mortis occurs in muscles this uh, gases can be pushed out so if there is a puncture wound is there gas may be released and the body will start moving because of uh, accumulation of gas this rigidity is false next change next sign of death is next sign of putrefaction is appearance of maggots which can be discussed in forensic terminology in separate video where i'll discuss so in forensic terminology the flies commonly flies lay their eggs flies may include house flies and other flies which are present uh, in the uh, around the environment they lay their eggs in the wounds exposed nostrils and in orifices like mouth nose then in females vagina or rectum folds of skin neck axilla ingo and area regions each each fly may lay up to 1000 to 2000 eggs uh, eggs these eggs becomes larvae also known as maggots in 2 to 3 days this larvae starts eating up the body for to 5 days this maggot turns to pupae and 5 to 4 5 to 6 days pupae becomes adult fly and this adult fly again lays eggs in the body and this cycle continues this cycle from laying to eggs to uh, adult fly this cycle continues as the body will be eaten up by the maggots so these are the maggots which are seen in the body these are the small pinkish to white pearly white color maggots which are present in the body it has the body starts degrading this maggot starts eating up the body again this image shows the maggots other sign is the late signs which are late changes which are seen in the decomposition in three to five days nails become loose and can be pulled out teeth become loose and can also be pulled out skull sutures can become separate then vein is liquefied in seven to twelve days there is qualitative change and liquefaction of the body there is softening and liquefaction of soft tissues of the dead body. Body fats liquefy and becomes yellowish transparent fluid. Thoracic abdominal cavities may burst open due to pressure of gases. Then later, last there is skeletonization. Skeletonization which may take up to one to three months. This changes based on the how the body is present in the environment. In buried bodies, it may take up to one hour, one year. Sorry, exposed body decompose in one to five years. 
deep body body takes up to 25 to 100 years body in the deep air coffin air tight coffin may take up to few centuries finally after many day many years bones also decompose viscera which usually decompose early are in larynx trachea stomach intestines brain and liver these are the organs viscera which are decomposed early and viscera which decompose later includes esophagus pancreas blood vessels uterus in females prostate in males and lastly the bones so this is the increasing order esophagus is esophagus pancreas blood vessels then uterus or prostate in males and uh, uterus in females for decompose later and bones this is very important for identification purpose of identification of sex so if uterus is preserved if uterus is formed since uh, accumulation of gases usually result in uh, decomposition skin is lost external features of a male or female is lost it is very difficult to identify the sex so if uterus is present it indicates female if prostate is present it indicates the male just by presence of this organ will be helpful for identification of sex factors influencing rate of decomposition so different factors influence the rate of decomposition first is external then the internal factors in external factors one is warmth so usually the 28 to 37 38 degrees centigrade is the ideal temperature in which there is decomposition and up to 50 degrees centigrade it is very helpful for decomposition movement of air so if there is movement of air is present decomposition decreases moisture if as moisture increases decomposition also increases because it allows bacteria to grow more then clothes presence of clothes decreases the decomposition process since the the maggots laying of eggs from the maggots is delayed surface injury increases the decomposition process since the bacteria as well as maggots uh, as well as flies has access to the internal organs manner of burial if the body is buried it de decreases uh, decomposition decreases takes time because the bacteria still cannot grow and also house flies cannot lay the eggs now coming to internal factors first is age so usually in children and infants infants who are not fed so if they are infants who are not fed they are usually sterile and they in that they are usually sterile in the sense bacteria doesn't there are there is no bacteria in the intestines so because of that the decomposition is very delayed in infants condition of the body well boiled bodies and thinner bodies well built bodies decompose later compared to thin bodies internal injuries if internal injuries are more it increases decomposition pressure since enzymes are released more cause of death if the person has died because of uh, death because due to injuries if the person has died it will be death because of in war, drowning then in decomposition increases in case cases now coming to caspar's dictum this is one form of rule which tells the record rate of decomposition it states that body decomposition in air twice as rapidly as in water and eight times as rapidly as in earth so in air it is twice of that of water then it is twice eight times that of earth in the sense that in air it decomposes very fast faster it decomposes in air compared to water compared to earth which is twice that of water twice that of earth It is usually because rate of decomposition water is half that of air is due to low temperature, less air and protection of body from the flies. Flies. So if the body is in water, because there is no movement of air, there is less temperature and usually there are five flies doesn't lay eggs. So body is preserved in water more compared to air. So in air there is uh, exposed to bacteria, exposed to flies, exposed to external uh, any animals. Because of that, decomposes in decomposition increases. Medical, coming to lab, medical importance of petrifaction. Petrifaction is a sure sign of death. From decomposition changes, time is that can be assessed mainly by, by the lay, the the changes in the body, rotting of the gases, and also by the eggs, maggots. So from maggots, we can estimate the time is death. In advanced decomposition, the identity of disease may be impossible because facial features are lost. In advanced decomposition, no opinion can be given as to cause of death since injuries all are lost. 
Only in case of poisoning, fractures, or firearm injuries, we can estimate the tag, cause of death because poisoning can be extracted from the bones. Fractures, if any fractures are present in the long bones, can be useful for cause of death and also firearm injuries if, bo if the bullets uh, are found from the scene of crime. Cause of death can be estimated. These are my references. Thank you.